Greetings and welcome back to Timber Porn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we have a very long story someone has written. So I'm really excited to read that to you today. This is from Mandalore the Savage. After watching the video last night in a half day's stupor because I needed to be sleeping and not watching YouTube, dang you KOS, you're too enjoyable to watch at the end of the day to relax. So I wrote up this little short story to help begin the series. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so very much, Mandalore. That's really sweet. I'm really like hearting at you. Uh, deeply the claws sink into the dry earth as Skye pulls herself up to the small plateau and she sees what she fears. A cliff so high and so steep that she feels the weight of the past weeks on her shoulders before reaching down to the first of her companions to pull them up. She knows it will be a difficult conversation ahead, but now there can be no delaying it. My friends, we can travel no further with the ease of the past several seasons. We may be able to cross the ridge, but the journey here has cost us too much. We have precious little of our supplies and lost too many good beavers in the crossing. You would have built us a new house. No. Oh my God. You, <laughs> you would have us build our new homes here so close to springs, but so far from food and water. Boop declared before pointing across the deep cut river in front of the party. It is only a bit further to a good landing and we can dam the river easily at those narrows. We have precious little left of our ropes and planks to easily cross the river, Boop, Stick piped in with his infectious merry tone. We should establish ourselves here and recover our strength and supplies before pressing forward. Stick has the right of right, of right Boop, Sky spoke with a firm but gentle tone that demonstrated why the group had stayed together for so long and had gotten so far. There is good timber and plenty of it right besides us on these hills and enough berries to sustain us while our carrots grow. We will establish ourselves here for a time and recover before we move on. Point at the ridgeline. Sky wishes to impart her concerns with, without raising the group's fears about the dangers ahead of them. We stout and hardy beavers are great builders and engineers, and we're able to overcome anything with time, materials, and dedication. So let's do that here. Boop is right about the landing being a perfect place to farm, but let us not let perfect be the enemy of good, reciting the sacred words of their four beavers. Yes, Corlaine interjected, a beaver who loves the slow waters of a pool. This will be a good place to start a center up on this hill and we can dam back the falls we just crossed anchoring on this and on the hill and the hill over yon. A good deep pool to establish ourselves and build our supplies up. Attempting to mutter quality, quietly, but the keen ear sky caught Boop's words. This is a bad gulch to build in. Bad Gulch indeed is a good name for our new colony, Boop. You have such good ideas. Sky beamed and showing her mighty teeth. Let us get going, friends. We have much work to do before the dry season. And thus the Bad Gulch colony begins. Thank you so very much for that, Mandalore the Savage. Really, really appreciate it. All right, so let's get back to our colony and find out what everybody's doing over here. Okay, it looks like Forester Beaver still has plenty to do. Uh, both the Forester Beavers, actually. And um, we're getting food. We still have plenty of food. Somebody in my Discord mentioned that they felt like food was going further. I think I think that's a very reasonable thing to say. I kind of kind of uh, think that that's, uh, that makes sense. However, I feel like the amount of water needed is astronomical. I don't know if it... I feel like it's like they need more water. As in you have to have more water... Uh, pumps but I don't know maybe I'm just not remembering how it is in big colonies I don't remember so anyway um we are saving up oh we got it we got it friends hello okay which means we get our wonderful science thingy observatory we can do two of these now do we have pine stuff no uh we have to get that first. I didn't realize we needed the tapper's shack. Ah, that was expensive. Ow. All right. Well, let's keep that. Um, I think we're going to go underground and assign a warehouse to this pine resin so they can get stuff sorted there. Okay. What else do we need to build this thing? I'm glad I discovered this first. Okay, it needs a lot of gears. We have 121. That seems like enough. 
and then we need 80 planks. We have 147 planks. Perfect. We can almost build two of them. We just need the resin, which we need 20 for two. Let's see, can we build gear? Yeah, we have gears and we almost have enough planks to build two. What I'm thinking of is I might even just build it between these spots here because I believe they are three by three. So that would fit one here and then one here easily. Yeah, three by three would work. Let's see, and that would leave one space for another, um, another building. So that's cool, very cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unpause this building because we have beavers in need of work. So let's have them work. It does appear that all of our, uh, our wood gathering areas are full. So that means that we can't really employ more lumberjacks. I was just thinking about that. That could be a thing, but we could open up these guys. Let's see, we are getting, getting higher and higher up on the water. So. That seems okay. Are we getting too low on depth though? That's another question. Um, we're going to end this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause these. Uh, and the reason for that is that I really would like to keep the water here. <laughs> so we don't, so we don't have, um, whatchamacallit. We don't run out of the crop watering abilities. Okay, let's put this down to one and a half. That'll still keep the water in. And when, when the, the new season of floods come in, we can, uh, we can automatically have it come into that area. Okay. No power. Sad times. That is sad indeed. It's definitely not worth work hooking up like beaver, uh, spinners because it, they just don't generate enough. They generate enough power for one building and trying to spread that around many buildings is a bit silly. Um, however, we can open up these guys. This is a, probably a pretty good idea for later, of course. Uh, whenever we get power. Oh, there we go. There is our science kicked in. So let's buy an observatory. Yes, please. And let's just make sure of the size. Yes, that would work. Yep, we can have two here. So let's make two. I do like making two because they are very inexpensive for what they are. Okay, yes, thank you. And keep note that I am doing this. I'm deleting these piles because I have the materials to build these things fully already. So uh, I'm guessing the beavers should work on this. I'll put them on priority because we're not actually going to get any more planks until we build these things. Um, let's see. Wait, why do we only have 61 planks left? So now we may have new problems. Okay, let's delete this one again for now because I think we don't, didn't quite have enough planks for the second one. We, we had not quite enough yet. That's okay though. We'll, we'll get it. It'll be fine. Okay. There we go. We're going to get that pine resin very shortly. So there we go. Prioritize some pine resin, please. And they have, they're getting some, they're getting some. Wow. Every single tree has been stripped from the leaves anyway. I don't know if, does this one have pine resin? doesn't say, huh? I wonder if it already got the pine resin. Cause that seems like it. Yeah. We've got six out of 10. Okay. All right. Oh, it's here. Look at this. We got it. Boom. And now we have science. All right. We're going to turn this down to low. But yeah, this is important. This is great. So we're not getting enough input right now. Um, however, now we can start to build things like uh, wood paper mills. So let's build a paper mill or 10 maybe. We'll put that one here because it has this weird shape to it. So uh, it's often best to put it on the end like that. Let's have one there and we'll put in, this one can be for paper. 
There we go. Beavers contaminant. God, that takes so long to get rid of. And then we probably want to deal with contamination as well. So that is a well-being thing, I think. Is it? Maybe not, actually. So we want the decontamination pod. We're going to get that. But more importantly, we need the extractor thing. I don't know where that lives. Food, beehive. We need more science points, that's for sure. Water. Stream gauge would be nice, too, just to see how deep the water is. Have we gotten... No, we're still in drought times, of course. Um, I'm still trying to find that extractor thing. District crossing, housing. Centrifuge, there it is. It's under water. Why is it under water? Okay. So we need 600 points for that. But these points are going to flow in seamlessly here. So let's see how many... We don't have as many planks as I want us to have. <laughs> we're, we're a bit short there. Oh, that's where the planks went. Of course they did. They went to building this thing, which I'm sure, or the, yeah, the gathering hut, which, yeah, mm, makes sense. Okay. Looks like we need to add planting orders or some, like, weird, weird spots here and there. Oh, this finally came to fruition. So we can build that tiny thing. Oh, God, really? Pick up the logs, people. Pick it up. Okay, let's plant these. I guess we can remove this. This road here. Do I need to remove... Do I need to have this going to the left? I don't think so. So we can just take this entire thing off. Um, also, these trees here seem to be nothing more than stumps. I don't think they're gonna... Oh, they do They do give us wood. So I'll cancel it, but they don't seem to be giving us much wood. Are they in the cutting zone? Yes? Okay. Well, it's okay. It's... They probably just haven't got there yet because we have so many trees elsewhere. So we'll just put in where we can, um, you know, extra trees here. All right, so this got built. I want to see the flow of the water to see if we need to build another one. All right, it looks like we got 1.1 days left of this. Oh my god, we're down to 96 water. Wow, okay, okay, we need to keep pumping. Really keep pumping. We have less stuff available. Oh dear. Um, I think what I want to do here is dam this off as well. Let's put in dams here quickly and we can actually add some water pumping up here too. Alternatively, we could put in floodgates. We could put in floodgates. Okay. I know what I want to do. I think I want to put in a, um, we'll put in floodgates over here, double floodgates there. Okay, and then what we can have, let's put in a platform there. Okay, so that's a thing. And then let's get rid of these trees so we can get the, the road there. And then over here, I want to completely uh, use some dynamite to get down to this area here and just dynamite the whole thing down several levels, right? So let's start the first level over here. And these actually should be triple floodgates now that I'm thinking about it. All right, they need to go down there first. And then we dynamite them first. Then we dynamite this entire area like that. And then we'll just do this one as well, why not? Okay, uh, and we're going to put this on high so that basically this stuff can happen uh, over time. Okay, I think this area here, that's actually mostly reachable, isn't it? I don't want to get rid of this just yet, 
but we'll we'll try to figure it out here. Okay, let's see. Um, and you guys as well. Hi. Hi, things. Um, let's also get rid of these trees leading up to there. Okay, nice. So they're working on stuff. This is great. They're putting dynamite already. That's fantastic. Look at that. So these two can already be de detonated. And we can put in the floodgates already, which is super nice. Let's see. Landscaping. Triple floodgate. Now we can buy stuff just willy-nilly, practically. put a road here. Uh, the other thing we can do is in all of these lovely pools here, these are also great places to have water pumping. Now the idea with this for me is going to be, I would like to um, control this so that I have a, a reservoir here. And when this reservoir at the base runs out of water, like we almost did just now, um, I want to be able to um, open the floodgates. Yeah. Okay. So there is a reason, I guess, we could do... What we could do is we could do little pockets of dynamite here. Like one... Oh, this is the bottom of the map. Okay, never mind. Yes, we can't do that. So let's look at our water again and get the stream gauge. I want that built right there just to find out how low we are on water. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So also let's put this on high as well. All right. It's looking good, looking pretty good. We should have a decent amount of dynamite made. Let's pause this place for a moment. All right. I want to get the extract makers up soon as well. Okay, so now we have just kind of like looking at our food. Looks like food is down a bit. That probably is not great. Um, all right, so paper mill. Okay, the paper mill has no power. All right. So that's a new problem. And we'll have to figure out what to do about this problem. Um, I could put a line from here to there. I think that's a good idea in general. Let's pause for a second and delete, say, this. I think power will travel to these or through these is what I meant to say. And then this, and then we put this on high, 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 and pause one of them. All right. This should get us pa power to the paper mill. Uh, oh, these don't have power either. Ah, okay. 98 gears we have. How much pine resin? Seven, no, that's wheat. Wheat. We don't have any pine resin? I guess we, we use it all up. All right, well, that'll be time for time in later land. So gears are not working at all right now. That's not good. But I think we just need to wait for the pine trees to have more resin happening. It's one of those that'll it'll fix itself over time. It's just one of these like the mall works over time kind of thing. Um, I really would like to get some bakery action going on here. Let's see what that is like. We have, we've got grist mills. So we can have at least one here and potentially here. Those are long sections though. I think I'll leave the long sections and not disturb them. These are short sections, which is kind of nice. How much, how many gears do we need for this? 20. We do have 20 gears. I could actually do two here. We, we do need several grist mills, so. 
All right, let's get that one. Come on, guys. Do these. Hurry, beavers. Let's go, friends. So this path we don't need. There's where that overlay comes from. It's a path overlay. Come on, beavers. Uh, actually, let's see. We can get rid of this and that and that. And change that into a let's see one two three okay so that will work there anyway and then put one here okay and that's not an emergency one come on guys do this one please please hurry we got the logs I'm worried about the food a little bit it is going down I wonder if they're all working on this uh, project up here. Probably. Very likely, in fact. Okay. So they are getting a lot of stuff done. Let's go ahead and detonate this section here. All right, which is nice. So let's remove this and then we put in... This is where the stuff gets a bit fiddly, where it's like, okay, one dynamite at a time. It's fine. So we'll put that on high. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Then we're going to have to get some stair action in here, I think. I don't think I can build on top of the water blocks, so it's going to be interesting. So let's see here. I can build this and then this and get some stairs kind of going all the way down if needed. Maybe I, oh no, I probably need to build a platform there. This is actually a bit of a, a mess because these guys didn't get placed. Um, I think we can build yeah, a platform here and let's hurry that up. How are we doing here? Okay, these are all too far to be sorted out. So let's get those done. Detonate those. Detonate these. And then see what we can do. Okay, you're working there. I'm going to pause now and delete some of these blocks. Okay. I can't believe they haven't done these uh, those things yet. That surprises me a lot. Okay, so we are here right now. Um, so now I want to put in dynamite on all these blocks. Oh, that's right. These don't need dynamite. Aha! And we can also put in uh, platforms. We need two, unfortunately. There. Actually, this one can probably be reached when we go around this. That would be fine. Okay, so let's put all that on high priority again. And make sure the trees are on high priority. Not that that seems to matter. Okay, and then we can blow up this area. How's this thing going? Why is this not made? Come on, guys. Come on. Sort it out. I think we might need to get another, um, oh, we can get more haulers as well. That's That really helps the economy for sure. Um, so let's see. If I use this area just for stuff like, I don't know, building outposts, that would work as well. I don't need to, to, to stretch the um, uh, power here. So we can take that off. And just, let's put this on high priority. Put that on medium low. Hopefully we can get our beavers to build this stuff. Let's see, this is a hauling post. Yeah, let's put this at full capacity. All right, and where is our builder's outpost? Where did I put that here? Okay. Yep, that has four workers and our home base has four workers as well. Kind of surprised it hasn't gotten done like this stuff but maybe they're just working on the other bits and pieces 
Okay, this is working nicely. Okay, very good, very good. And now we're getting these guys built. Yeah, those are those need a lot of materials. We are Whoa, we have tons of planks. Wow. Lots and lots of planks. So that's good. I think part of the thing that's slowing us down is our beaver happiness level. It's not good. Um, I really need to get them some more food types. So I think to that end, let's see, we have two. In wow. I keep thinking like, ah, oh, we need to wait first. No, we don't need to wait for anything. We have all the things we need. Okay. So let's see, we need our grist mill. Let's have that. This one start there. Uh, we have this one also here that has not been built already. Which is not ideal. Um, we have gears that are not being made. So that's definitely not ideal. 20 and 20 and 20. That's 60. So we have enough gears for all three of these. But we need to build this thing first. And I'm getting a bit like, dudes, come on, build this thing. Okay, so let's see. The grist mills that we have are here are... Let's use this one for... Let's do both of these as wheat on the end here. Oh, finally they finished that one. That was nice. I didn't even see a beaver there. They went in stealth mode. Okay, another grist mill here. Okay, that one is very high priority for sure. So then we need to build the other bits that we need as like bakeries, for example. Now these, um, I guess I can put them on this side of things, even though it's kind of like the road is a bit weird, but that's okay. It, we can just use what road we have. And so then these are going to be making bread. Recipe, bread. Bread and bread. And then we can also make, let's see, to make maple pastries, we need wheat plus maple and wood. Okay, that le that seems really great. So let's get the maple pastries in here. There we go. So you will be making maple and you will be making maple. Now these guys do not need electrical power or um, mechanical power at all. They definitely don't need it. But we are just putting them in the industrial side of things. In fact, we could put another bakery right here if we wanted to. Um, but I'm not going to push it for now. So let's put one of these on high. We're going to put these all on this kind of high. Um, but build priority, they're going to be just regular. Because I want them to finish the other things first. Like the grist mill's got to be first. Now, did I allocate a spot for maple pastries? Let's check our thingy here. We have bread here, bread there. Is that maple? No, that's chestnuts. So I think maybe here, let's do maple pastries here. Here it is, maple pastries. Some of those icons, like that one is really tiny small and I just don't see it very well. It's kind of odd. All right, so we have so much wheat already. We can actually pause these farmers because we're not actually harvesting any. Uh, this is working a lot better. You see, we blocked the water flow, and so the water is forced to go under the wheel. So now this one is making a lot more hamster power than, than it was before. Remember, it was kind of like barely skating by. So yeah, now it's a lot better. Now then, we can add other wheels here, and I think we might want to just for funsies. So we can add one here. That seems good. And maybe I think it should still flow past. We can try it anyway. Yeah, but we do need to get rid of this block of land. So let's see, let's get this deadified. We need to get rid of both of them so they connect here. All right, are we getting any grist mills done? Let's just turn off this overlay here. All right, we're getting there. We're getting planks, maybe gears one day. I think we need, let me look at science again. 
Can we afford another? We need 30 gears. No, I don't think so. I think we need to reattach the gears for a while. I should have done this earlier. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, pause this one. This is one thing that I kind of wish was different. Like, I wish you, you didn't have to pause one or that they would be smart enough to build them in order. So that's a bit of an annoyance, but it's fine. It's just, you know, what can you do, right? It's not like game breaking or anything. It's just kind of a quality of life thing that we could have. All right, so what do we got here now? It looks like we have everything uh, sorted here. So let's detonate all of these spots. Boom. Okay, good. So now we have uh, new things to do. We can do more stairs. We'll go ahead and let the game run here. And then let's get rid of this area here. Just doing this very slowly, very methodically. Uh, and let's get some, some quickness here. And of course, get our dynamite. I think they can reach up and do that one. I'm not sure, but I believe they can. It's been a while since I investigated this. Okay, so you detonate you. This one didn't get done. That's weird. Actually, that one doesn't matter, does it? We can just delete that. Okay, so this one can go away. And this can get detonated. And here we can do a bridge, I think. Uh, we need a three bridge. Okay, that's a lot of planks. So this is four. We do need a triple platform, right? One, two, three. So it's 12 planks and then a three bridge would be 30 planks, definitely nowhere near like what you would expect in terms of cost. So the, the fancy bridges are basically just for funsies. Uh, they're for decoration. They're not actually for engineering cost benefits analysis, that's for sure. All right, let's let them deliver that dynamite. And ah, there we go. We have connections. Hooray, but we have no power because there's no wind. Do we have paper? Um, maybe. No, we just got power, so we didn't have paper. I was hoping we could replace some of the, um, the windmills with powery thingies, but no. Okay, so we have depth of 1.06. We're not in a drought. Oh, it's because most of the water's flowing there. Hmm. We need to get that fixed. Like immediately. Because very little water is flowing this way. This could actually be quite bad. Actually, we, we do have 1.6k water. So it'll be fine, I think. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Is that the right depth? It is. Okay, so if we do this... So we can do one here. Could almost do one there if we remove the stream gauge. Let's remove that stream gauge and we'll move and we'll move it elsewhere. Move it right there instead. One, two. And looks like we have to do another. Actually, though, if we move. Oh, let's let me just delete all this because I don't think I want to do this. I think I want to wait until we have, I'll put the stream gauge there though anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter where it is, just so long as they can reach it. Um, here, we could start putting dynamite uh, over there. However, we do have 3.9K uh, with the, that needs to be high, it is, great. Let's see, centrifuge, let's open that up. And that is also a funny shape size. 
So here, if I put that one there, we'll have a two space. Here, we can actually move one of these, these guys and just put the centrifuge at the end. I think that would be good. And then clear up these guys. One, two, and put in a wood gear maker here. Yep, okay, good, fantastic. We did get one bakery, hooray. It's not connected by any paths. Ah, yeah, I forgot to prioritize that. Well, that will get done in the morning, I hope. All right, we're doing pretty well. We've got 200 planks. That's, that's the story of any colony. How many planks you got, right? <laughs> that's the strength of the colony is a plank. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? We have two things that are not reachable. We can possibly just delete all this stuff. Yay. Okay, pause. And we can do this. Detonate. And now we can actually get those ones done, I think. Maybe. So what we need to do is now we are on the bottom of this thing, which is great. And we're going to walk up. Okay, it looks like we can get these little guys from the side so let's just have that happen go here go there okay they are building these platforms which is fantastic okay detonate that we might even widen this place out and just put in much more dynamite uh let's see let's get this so this is how much is this double dynamite you need Okay, just a few extract. I can even do something like this and really make this quite a bit bigger, this area. In fact, we can do that with the entire basin if we wanted to. Just leave a little bit of road area to walk around the place. Okay. Okay, so this is there. Now I do need to build, uh, should I just put a single dam here? I think maybe that's what I want to do is build the single dam. Um, can we get this one? Is it ready? No, we have three days. We have this one is done, detonatable. Kind of want to put the dam like right here, but I need this one to get done ASAP. Come on, beavers. It is within range, so... I can start building part of the um, the floodgate though, like right there. Can have that on high. Would really love to get that done. We have 1.8k water, which is fantastic. Oh, they're gonna do the dynamite. Perfect. But yeah, we need these these dams done by the flood date. So this one, oh, that did get done. Cool. And then these got done as well. So then we can put those on high. And then, oh, whoops, forgot this one. All right, hopefully we get stuff done here. And that'll be a decent size reservoir. Not too bad. Whoa, okay. We're doing a little bit of flow here. Let's put this one down a tiny bit. Is that enough? No, not quite enough. It's still not enough. Wow, okay. Had to put it way down. Okay, so that's gonna control the flooding, hopefully. Don't want our trees and stuff to die. All right. 
Looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. I really hope they can finish this dam over here. Or what is it called? Floodgates. Yeah, they're getting there. I think, let's see, we have, we have enough planks and stuff. So it's just a matter of work power rather than anything else. I think it's very tiring for the poor beavers to go up there. So... Yeah, it's still, look, it looks like it's still like mixing the names, even though I told it not to. And I looked at the name file again, and it only has the patron names on there. Um, so I hope you enjoy living side by side with the beavers. <laughs> That's all I can say. Everybody's a beaver here, right? Aha. It is good. It is good. Okay, so we should be having bread. Why is this not working with bread? Not enough materials. Why? Oh, wheat flour. Why are you unhappy about wheat flour? Oh, there's no path. Well, then, of course you're unhappy about wheat flour. My goodness. Why wouldn't you be? Okay, and now there is no wind. Perfect. That's just great. Why are these still turning if there's... Oh, there's this, though. We have power. Maybe it's not enough. Is this not connected? Should be. These are connected. This is connected. This is not connected. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's emergency. No. Darn it. All right, let's check on our floodgates. Please fix. Dang it. Ah, uh, really? Somebody just didn't build it? Come on. Okay, drought started and they didn't, they just didn't build it. Look at this. I have the logs, I have the planks, but nobody built the thing. Now they built it. Okay. So we didn't really get much water, lit, you know, here, in here. So that's not great, but it's all right. It's just not something we can really meow about too much. I should have like left, oh, and now it's drowned. Oh <laughs> no, it just evaporated completely. Great, great. Anyway, what we can do is we can turn these guys on into, you know, decent priority and get those. Oopsies. All right. And then concentrate work maybe on our areas over here, which we have no wind again. Hooray. Oh, that's so great. We have no wind again. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll get there. And we have plenty of water, which is pretty great. Um, we don't even need to keep pumping. I think I'm going to pause several of these guys. I kind of wish that was more automatic, like you could turn in automatic things. I know that there are some... Um, there are some mods that let you have like floodgate control. I'm not sure if that's cheating or not. I kind of want to wait for official dev mods to say, hey, is that cheating? Though it doesn't feel like cheating. I would feel like the, the, the beavers are smart enough to be able to invent something like that, you know? I don't know. So I might use that. We'll see. Just depends. All right. And then this thing, we need to delete this and put in... A... We need to put in this and that, but I think we need to have a walkway above this area as well. I think we need to do that like this. Okay, very cool. Oh, here we go. We get extract now. All right. Bad water and logs equals extract. That's fun. So we do need to keep pumping the bad water. Now we need much more because we're now making explosives out of stuff. So how much extract? We have one extract. Wow, that's not a lot. We have 16 dynamite. So I'm going to enjoy using that double, double dynamite. That's going to be fun. 
Let's look into that and get prices on this. 900 science. Okay, we'll have to buy that. What else we got? Dirt excavator, terraforming station, terrain blocks. We don't need any of those yet. Uh, what else we have? Yeah, the underground pile. We want that. And also the large warehouse. Yes. So this is capacity 1800 logs. And what does it cost? 40 gears. We haven't recovered from our gear. Uh, low, low tide. So that's something we need to think about. So gears have... We could do the gear station right over here, which I'm very tempted to do. Um, we have the planks for it, I think. Yeah, we might as well do this. Uh, yes. And then gears... There we go. That'll be on high, of course. Paper. How much paper do we have? Six. How much do we need for a windmill? Big windmill. We need 30 paper. Okay, nowhere near the paper needed. I think I would like to build another paper making place. How many other buildings are small and kind of sideways? Let's see, boost the growth of nearby crops. That would be nice to get eventually. So here, this is where we want to store the water underground. So let's just do this. Not underground, but underwater. Store the water underwater. No, we want to store the water in this basin. That's a better way of saying it, for sure. Okay, there we go. And those can be placed down when we can. Oh, we already got some placed down. Excellent. I'm going to wait till the entire row is done before I delete them. Okay. Things are going pretty well over here. Hooray. Get in some new tree, tree planting there. And here. We actually got some of those ones that we were hunting earlier. Okay, so now we can delete this road, which was temporary at all stages here, but might as well delete it because we don't need to be there. Okay, and then we will replant our trees. We have a forest for the gods, man. It is so epic. Forest fit for the gods. Okay, and this forest, I think we might need more. Do we need more pine resin? No, we have 240. I think we're good. <laughs> we're actually good now. Okay, what else do they... They collect the maple syrup. Okay, so we need that as well for making the maple pastries. So are we... We've got a few maple syrup. And getting potatoes... We're actually really short on potatoes. I'm surprised about that. So let's see. What can we do about the potato shortage? We can probably start a new farming area somewhere over here. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, so we're going to detonate this. And that gives us access to making the structure for power here. And adding this thing to our power grid. Now then, um, we need to figure out where do we want to go with food. I mean, we could go up here. This area is a nice flat space. It's almost very square. It's kind of strange that way. Do we want to cut these trees? Probably not, I'm guessing. I mean, we could put the wood over here, maybe. I don't know. It does seem a waste to just destroy it, but at the same time, we have the Forest of the Gods over here, so I'm not really that worried. Um, they haven't actually done much cutting in this area, which is a bit annoying. But that's okay. It's fine. 
just gonna let's see, just get rid of these trees, all of the trees. It's really hard to see the layers of land as well over here. Really difficult. Okay, they're getting rid of some of it. That's nice. Okay, so this is done as well. That's nice. Okay, get that one there. That's our last thing of uh, high stuff there. Okay, so let's do a height of 2.5 on both of these. So it will flow out equally into each area. And uh, then we can release this when we are short of water. So right now, what have we got here? Depth of 1.07. We have 1.7 days of... Uh... Oh, okay. Or not. Uh-huh. How is that 1.07? Oh, current. Oh my god. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I was I read the thing wrong. I thought it was current. I thought the greatest All right, anyway. I misread it. It's fine. It'll be fine. No power again. It's frustrating when there's no power available. I'm not a fan of this. But what can we do? We can put in... I think we wait with the paper on the large windmills and stuff. So, what do we do with this area? I think maybe we just put in more paper makers here. I think there's so little time. Seems like there's so little time for stuff to get made that it's just like, we might as well just make this stuff. Could do that or that or that. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Could do this. All right, so Centrifuge is making his extract, and that's going to go into making the dynamite deeper, which is nice. We have a little bit of bread, but really not getting a lot of it. So that tells me I would really like some more potato farms. So let's make those potato farms up here. And I think what we do is maybe we, we end up doing some kind of like... Um, maybe we, I wonder if we should get a, a water pump up here, like one, and then have a small water thing for a water carrier to come and get and fill a little pool. Let's get this on high. Drought ended. Okay, I did make my floodgates a little bit so that water would spill out. All right, there we go. And beavers are working on stuff, which is great. I think we make a pool somewhere like... Maybe here or something. So if we do something like there, that would work, I think. All right, well, we have accomplished a heck of a lot in this particular episode. If you've enjoyed this, do please automate that like button and click subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos. Um, I've really enjoyed playing this so far for you. I love Timberborn. It's one of my top three favorite games, and uh, it just keeps getting better and better with every update. So if you haven't checked it out, I highly encourage you to do so. It's really great. And... Um, 
yeah, check out my books at emmatales.com, of course. And if you um, want to help support me financially, and I'm really, really thankful for all of my patrons and supporters, um, check out the Patreon link in the description below. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.